Hey guys, it's Lee here. I'm going to be uh, showing you a little bit of the RU team I built in my last video. I replaced uh, Raticate with Slowking because I had a major fighting weakness and Slowking makes uh, for a great Pokemon. Actually, I'm sorry I didn't replace it with Smoking. I uh, replaced it with Entei um, because Entei is also a great Pokemon. Not a huge fan of Legendaries, but to wish Bandit Entei really does work. Alright. Uh, he leads with Snover, I lead with Machin Chino, I'm on the right, go hit with the Rock Blast, it hits most of the things on his team for pretty good amounts of damage. He's gonna bring in his Whimsicott, and this thing really gave me a bunch of trouble. Um, Cotton Guard pretty much shuts down most of my physical sweepers, even a Seligor will have trouble. Um, being a special sweeper. I uh, use Workup, he taunts me uh, for the second Workup which kind of bothered me because if I had been able to work up this thing would have been a little easier to kill not much but it would have taken probably one or two less turns bring my Seligor he goes for a leech seed I'm gonna guard split just to get rid of this thing's bulk um, then he hits me with a toxic I switch out I believe I switch out to Entei a lot of uh, after turn hacks going on yeah, Entei goes for just a uh, choice banded stab flare blitz, super effective. After he gets toxic, with that prankster ability and Whimsicott's really obnoxious. Brings in Slow King, very obvious counter, especially uh, to Entei. Go ahead, bring in my Slow King, take a surf. Alright, he's gonna actually Thunder Wave me, that really bothers me because that Thunder Wave brought my Slowish King down this match. I, uh, I think I go for its sub, but I get the para hacks and it doesn't work. Next turn, uh, go for a Calm Mind. Uh, I never find out what his Hidden Power is. Uh, my moves are Focus Blast, Substitute, Hidden Power Dark, and uh, Calm Mind. Again, that Dark Fighting combination. Uh, not not resisted by anything in the game so far who knows what they're gonna come out with next generation we'll see or even if there's a possible combination I haven't done any math or anything to figure it out but Glaceon uh, hidden power dark I did not predict the switch at all really not a problem for me I forget what I do now Switch into Chinchino. Okay, I'm assuming I'm going to try for the Rock Blast, and I predict the Shadow Ball. That's why I switched. Okay. I missed the Rock Blast. That really sucks. And my Scarf's broken, so I die. I'm pretty sure that was Hidden Power Fighting. Uh, he switches out, predicting a Flare Blitz. That's okay. I go for Stone Edge, because that hits everything but Polyrath on his team for neutral damage. Which sucks. Uh, I'm pretty sure I switch out at this point. I go to Dredigan maybe. Now Slowking. Then he circle throws me into Dredigan after this. Which is fine. Slowking really doesn't get off a move. Alright. There's a Focus Blast. I probably should have taken notes before I did this. But whatever. Uh... He's going to go ahead and Ice Punch me. This is where you see that uh, physical bulk come into play. He did 23% to me. He takes 30% back. That's just insane. Absolute monster, dude, again. Uh, another Ice Punch. He's going to die to the damage he takes and only hits me for 25%. Go. I tried to go for a Dragon Tail just to uh, get something hit with the rocks, but whatever. He goes for a Outrage. I'm assuming it's Choice Banded because most Dredigans that carry Outrage are either Scarfed or Banded, and Banded is significantly more common in my experience. Um, my Entei versus his Dredigan, I just go for the Stone Edge. Don't manage to kill it, he kills me with an Outrage, and then he dies to Hail Damage. So, I think now it's 3-2, and if I'm not mistaken, I... I win 2-0. Uh, 
I don't really know why I brought in a Seligor. Oh, I was predicting a Blizzard or an Ice Beam from Glaceon. That's why I switched out. Then, I think I call mine. And then after that, I'll go for a Focus Blast. I really don't know why. Glaceon carries Signal Beam and Shadow Ball. Um, honestly, mine carries Hyper Beam. Which, some of you guys probably are like, what? Why Hyper Beam? You have to recharge. That's true, you have to recharge. Um, but it has just about the same power as the Stab Ice Beam. And that really does work. If you don't have the coverage to hit them super effective, just go for a Hyper Beam. Uh, screw the recharge. Really, it's not that big of a deal. If uh, a one turn kill isn't worth a, a recharge, then there's a problem. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed, and for that, I'm going to be off. Bye-bye.